Can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi. The driver on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Good job. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Welcome back to the channel. It's Brené A with my Enzo. And today, we got to talk to you. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. You know how we do. We get down. We about to act cool. Okay. Yay, Enzo. Can you say hi? Say hi. Okay, you're just going to wave. Where's your head? Yes, where's your eyes? Where's your eyes? Good job. Where's your nose? What about your ears? Your ears. Yeah, good job. Where's your tummy? Oh, what about your knees? Yeah, where's your toes? Oh my goodness, you got your toes in. Yay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Brene. Today, I just wanted to come and give you guys an 18-month postpartum update with my bowling ball of a baby, Enzo. So we've been in this motherhood, uh, toddlerhood, hood lately, and it's been rough, guys, but it's also been absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna give you guys an update. Let's go. Okay, so I've been a mom for 18 months and it's really hard to believe that, like, I've been here for 18 months, like, Wow, it's almost two years, that's absolutely crazy. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, for the most part, mom-wise, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like my hormones are still a little bit up and down because I'm still breastfeeding. So some days are a little better than others, but I've been doing a lot of inner work lately and mindset work to where I'm just training myself to be a lot more grateful and to be happy and to not let, you know, Enzo acting the way that he's acting or the fact that Enzo doesn't want to eat right now or whatever the case stressed me out, you know So that's been a big thing lately I've been preparing all these beautiful meals for Enzo and like trying to cook and be creative and then I give it to him And he's like no Like he just won't eat anything. And it's like dude just eat something So that is one of the struggles we've been going through is him eating. He's not um, necessarily picky But I think because his molars and stuff are coming in they've been coming in for a while now at least a few months. I think because he's still kind of teething. Some days he just doesn't want it. And then some days he just wants breast. And it's like, we're still breastfeeding. We're still going strong. Um, but I'm getting to the point where I'm ready to wean. Like I'm tired now. And yeah, so we're getting through that together. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're doing it somehow. Um, and yeah, that's all I can say really is that we're, we're trying to get through just the, you know, the, the in-between stages. So uh, meal time has sometimes been a struggle. I'm noticing that I have to rotate his foods out. So one day or one week, he'll really be loving oatmeal really hard. And then the next week he's like, eel, <laughs> he'll spit it out. One week he loves blackberries. One week he loves blueberries. One week he loves raspberries. And the next thing you know, it's like, I don't like those. I want strawberries. So I'm noticing that the key to him right now is like rotating out foods and keeping it fresh and new because when it gets too stale, he's over it. And he'll just like, oh, I've already seen that before. I'm not eating it. He's not intrigued anymore. So that is a tip, mamas. If your kid is refusing to eat, maybe you're, you fall into like a slump. Maybe you, they just want fries or pizza all the time. If that's, if you're noticing they have favorite foods and maybe start to, you know, spice those foods up or add different colors to those foods or do whatever it is that you can to make them look a little bit different and see if you can get your kid to eat more or eat a little bit better, you know? I'm noticing I have to hide his vegetables and sauces and stuff like that because some days he'll eat his vegetables, he really likes squash, and then some days he's like, no, I'm not eating that. So kids, toddlers, they have like a need to be in control. And I think it's such a beautiful thing because their personalities are literally growing. And I'm noticing that in Enzo, it's like he has to be in control. And if he can't be in control or make his own decisions, he don't want it. And I feel him because some days I feel like that. I'm like, no, this is my life. <laughs> this is what I wanna do. So anyways, it's super cute, super cool. Um, if you are dealing with a toddler or soon to be toddler, mindset is the biggest thing with them. Like you literally have to keep yourself sane and don't go crazy and don't freak out because they don't wanna eat. Kids are incredibly smart and they know when they're hungry, when they're not. And so some days I even have to tell myself, just trust that he knows when he wants to eat. So that's been one of our bigger struggles. 
Um, as far as like anxiety, depression, um, you guys know that I've dealt with a little bit of postpartum anxiety, postpartum depression, just little things, not super deep. Um, and um, I think as far as that, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't had any issues. I think a lot of times that comes with um, hormones and then not having the proper help that you need. But I've kind of like just kicked myself into gear and I'm just like, you have to do this. You don't have a choice. Like, who cares if you have the adequate amount of help that you want or need at this point? Your mom, you got your husband, y'all gotta do this together. So postpartum anxiety and depression, I think we're good in that area. I feel like my hair is a little bit weird. I don't know what it is, but I feel like my texture has changed. So when I was pregnant, I felt like my hair was like luscious and just beautiful. And now it just feels like brittle and like hard. Um, it doesn't make it any better that I don't really do my hair that often. So maybe that's why I need to start like moisturizing it more and actually like giving it the time that it needs. But in terms of like my hair, it feels a little bit brittle. So I've been taking, I still take my prenatal vitamins because I still breastfeed. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not depleted. So I'm still taking my vitamins and all that good stuff, but I think that I need to get a better hair regimen. So um, I'm probably gonna do some research into that and see what I can do to help my hair. Honestly, it's just probably consistency for me because I hate doing my hair. It's so thick and just annoying. So yeah. Anyways, um, on to everything else. I think my nails, my nails are, they seem like they grow a little bit slower these days. Um, and, but they're still strong, they're still good, but they just seem like they just grow a little slower. As far as my body, I don't know if you guys want to see that or if I should show you that, I will. But my body's the same, it hasn't really changed. I do notice that sometimes, like I have um, like different like stomach pains. And I don't know if that's just like my abs and like digestion getting back together. You guys don't realize when you have a baby, it takes forever for your body to actually get back right. Oh my goodness. And I think sometimes too, when my period is on or my cycle and I'm breastfeeding, my uterus literally cramps up so tight, almost as if Enzo was a newborn and I was breastfeeding him like just after giving birth, it starts to feel like that some days. So that's crazy too. But yeah, I think for the most part, 18 months postpartum, I feel good. I feel like I look good. Like I just feel great, no issues. Um, and I think most of that has to do with my mindset. I think it's 80% mindset, 20% physical. Um, I'm trying my best to eat as healthy as possible. You guys know we're mostly plant-based, but I've lately found myself falling into like a slump of just like not feeling like cooking. Um, just not feeling like eating. I just don't feel like it. I'm just so tired and overwhelmed with things that are going on. As you guys can see, I have not been on YouTube that much. So like literally, I've just been like busy. And so some days I'm just like, I don't feel like cooking. I don't even wanna, uh, can we just call Chipotle and get a veggie bowl or a chicken bowl or whatever? So I think that kind of has something to do with just postpartum and just going 18 months straight, balls to the wall with no break. Um, and so, yeah, and also with no help. And guys, when I say that, I'm not saying that to feel any type of way or have any type of pity. I'm just being honest. Uh, it's really hard some days. So yeah, but other than that, I feel great. I feel like I look good. I'll show you guys my body right quick. This is my tummy from the front. Um, you guys know on my other postpartum, my very first postpartum update, I had some stretch marks up in here. My stomach was really black, of course, but my skin, I would like to say, is kind of tightened back up. Like, it feels great. It feels good. This is me from the side. If I poke it all the way out, ooh, and then this is me just regular. So I feel like I feel good. Um, turn to the side again, this side. Um... So yeah, that's what my body looks like. I have not gotten back to working out consistently yet. It is a dream and a goal of mine to get there, but I just have not, I have not gotten there. And I hope and pray that I do one day. But yeah, that's basically my 18 month postpartum update. How are you guys feeling? What are y'all going through? Are you in postpartum yourself? Like leave a comment below, let me know where you're at. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and I will see you next time. Bye.